Hello friends, I have exciting news. I was not anticipating filming today. It's gonna take a day off and get some editing done. Hang on, it's really windy. Okay, this is also another reason why I decided to film. I just got word that um, they have six adult booster shots at a local pharmacy and I can go right now and now that I'm okay from my thyroid node biopsy. So let me just give you a quick update before I start driving. Um, I wasn't going to but then I thought you know what. So you can see that there's bruising right here and then these are the two entry points. There's multiple entry points right here and there. If you are new or haven't watched yesterday's video I'm keeping it kind of pulled down because it's kind of sensitive to the shirt being on it but I went and had um, a biopsy done yesterday on my thyroid. Some questionable stuff, but I won't talk about that because she's in the car with me. So, I have recovered well, I think. You know, yesterday was a little rough, um, just because I was kind of stuck on the couch for a lot of it with ice on it. It's still swollen, you can, you can see it. You can see there's a little patch right here that's still swollen. It still kind of bothers me to swallow definitely kind of hurts to cough laugh but it's getting better and try to just tested it <laughs> it's getting better it's hard because like I love water I love drinking my water but it's not as easy to do anyway so we are gonna rush off really quick and go get this adult booster my friend is just letting me know when they have like excess boosters and extra ex excess um, shots for little kids yesterday it was crazy I spent like most of my day working with um, this pharmacist and the extra shots she had at multiple pharmacies and we got um, I think three kids vaccinated and five adults and we're trying to get some triplets um, scheduled for this weekend or like Friday and anyway it's pretty cool but I need to like check my messages again and make sure that someone else didn't want to sign up. I'm going to take one of six booster shots that are at the pharmacy right now. I need to make sure that there's not like a group of six people that are <laughs> going ahead of me. I'm literally five minutes away from the pharmacy. But I'm going to get my booster because she is home from school today and tomorrow. Why are you home? Because we have teacher call. And that's just where we were. She's failing miserably. You say that every time, so I already <laughs> know it's not true. I know, it's not true. She's doing very well. Her writing is improved. I see you're not aggressively mad about your writing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I told the teacher, um, I was like, her, she's not angry about writing. And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you didn't see her handwriting last year. She was very angry about writing assignments last year. And she's like, Oh, that's good to know that she's not so angry anymore. But anyway, we're gonna go get this booster and then we'll be right back. we have here Diana Anderson fresh from YouTube oh, word. <laughs> I convinced her to come down and get her booster too and I can film her because she has a channel herself go check it out so I have to sit here for just a minute to make sure I don't die right <laughs> anyway my friend I posted on uh, my a few Facebook groups and on my page um, to see if people wanted to come and get their vaccine and my friend Diana came down. She has a, oh, there's another one. You can see it. Oh, she can hear me. <laughs> it's another friend of mine. Anyway, hang on. So Ashley brought a birthday present to a friend and it's so cute to like sit and watch her. I think the girl is like opening up the present. It's cute to watch her. She doesn't have too many friends outside of like our neighborhood. Like she has church friends and stuff, but this is the first friend outside of our neighborhood that she's like, we have to get her a present. We have to deliver it to her. <laughs> she got the address of her and did she open it? Yeah. Did she like it? Yeah. She just woke up though. She did? <laughs> yeah. It's 12 o'clock. 
I, I wake up at 12 o'clock. You would have had you not had sisters getting ready for late start today, huh? Yeah, I would. Someone slept on the couch? Mm hmm Yeah, you did. All right, we have now officially gotten five people boosted. So amazing, I love social media and I can just share it and I can get people from our neighborhood. I got a, an old coworker of mine. She, they all just literally got their shot. Uh, Daniel and Matt just got theirs. So there's one dose left and I've told all my friends on Facebook, I'm like, hey, there's one left. Super exciting to get people. This new variant is a little scary. It's entered the US and it's a little scary and we're not sure if our current vaccines are gonna be able to hold against it. So I am happy to get boosted and not have to worry about that. And I'm extra happy that these guys are actually fully vaccinated now and not have to worry about that extra variant as well. So I still have not eaten breakfast and it's already lunchtime. So I just, oh, there's no exit. Oh, I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure out lunch. I'm very tempted. Are you tempted to go and get something? This is my problem. Oh, it hurts to laugh. See the bruising? I don't know if I talked about the bruising. You did? Yeah, you can see it. There's bruising there and there's some there. Uh, yeah, you can so it see hurts it. to laugh. So I've been frantically trying to get <laughs> videos edited today. It's been hours since I got home. I've been editing videos and doing thumbnails and I've just been kind of trying to get caught up more than anything. And also, I'm kind of nervous that I'm gonna start to not feel well tonight. But I need to feel well tomorrow because I have a, another ultrasound scan that they asked me to go and do. It's more money and it's on the breastage, which pays more. <laughs> I think it's like 175, something like that, for them to use the ultrasound machine on and scan my chest. So. It's worth the money. So I just don't want to be sick tomorrow. So I need to make sure I kind of get into bed on time tonight. You know, just kind of take care of myself. It's also helping me not snack at night by going to bed earlier. Because I do not like having snacks in bed. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I just don't like it. I don't like to get crumbs or I don't like eating laying down like that. Um, we don't have a TV in our room. So it's easy if I just go to bed. Can you hear the wind coming in my garage? Anyway, so hang on. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're on my kids' bath, like the shelf where I put the kids' baskets. Let me show you real quick. See? Their baskets. And you're sitting there where Chelsea's is, so let me slip that little piece of underwear behind you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm done. I'm done up until today with the footage. Because I really don't want to have to edit tomorrow unless I absolutely have to. I just want to be able to go to this appointment tomorrow um, and then start writing my Christmas cards. That's really honestly what I wanna to do tomorrow. I want to sit down with a Christmas movie on the TV and start sending you guys Christmas cards. I am feeling better. My neck really doesn't feel very swollen. There's a little teeny tiny strip right down here at the bottom that is a little swollen. It's not really like tender, I mean it's tender to the touch. I try not to touch it very much. It doesn't hurt as much to swallow anymore, which is nice. And, but the bruising is coming on. <laughs> And anyway, I'm just gonna keep folding laundry here and I'll keep you posted throughout the evening on any symptoms. All the friends that I have had who have had the booster, uh, this is the Pfizer shot that I got, they have gotten symptoms not quite as bad as the second shot, second dose, but they did get the aches and the, you know, the yucky feeling and the you want to lay in bed or lay in the couch all afternoon. That's how they felt. So I think that's what I'm kind of prepping myself for so that I don't have to do anything. So I'm hurrying and getting laundry done, hurrying with my videos. We have leftovers from dinner that my friend brought over yesterday so I don't have to make dinner. They all eat so much after school. Like I can still hear Chelsea, I think. Chelsea, is that you? Maybe it's Abby. Anyway, so food is not a worry tonight. Feeding them is not a worry. Kaylee is at Target with her boyfriend. <laughs> They're hanging out and then she'll be home and then Jason will be home. So. Anyway, I will keep you posted on my symptoms throughout the day. Ashley was quite bored today. Made me want to decide on one more Christmas present for her to keep her occupied for the next year. I'm gonna go and do this and then keep going.
Okay, I am caught up, you guys. <laughs> I just was editing. Look how cute my screen is. I love it. I did not I did not take that photo. And also, I have another one on this computer screen. This is my laptop. Oh, I'm watching a video about the next island that we're going to go to. <laughs> oh, and there's the card that I need to print out. Ah, I did take that photo. That is in Lahaina. It's right at the mark at the harbor right by where you like get on all the little boats. Anyway, I miss my Hawaii, obviously. <laughs> like a major problem. Okay, but I'm literally caught up to like right now to this footage that I, anyway. Jason just got home and you're having leftover pasta, correct? Pasta and cheese quesadilla. Oh, that sounds good. I shouldn't have either one of those. I don't Did you, either, but well there's low carb um, quesadillas in there. Did you use those? I don't know. You use, cheese in it. Well, whatever. Um, but he brought me another surprise. This is the advantage of um, owning a shoe store. <laughs> having a great husband. And having a great husband. Yes. I send him pictures of shoes that I know we carry or that <laughs> I know he can order. And then he orders them for me. And he tries to pull it off as, as a Christmas present. And I was like, nope. Bring it home. Okay. Newest shoe. Look how cute! It would have matched my outfit today. Should we try it on? Yes. Okay. Yes. I kind of like them a lot. But I'm going to wear them around the house. I do worry that they're a little narrow. I have this... Well... We'll see. So I have weird toes, like these two toes on my right foot, they like to overlap if there's at all too narrow of, of a toe box. And then they just like rub against each other and they never get like irritated to the point where the skin is actually like broken or whatever. But it irritates me so bad. So I think I'm just gonna wear these ones around the house so that they don't get dirty in case he needs to resell them. But I do like the look of them. They're very cute. And they like perfectly match my shirt. The color is chili. I think it should be Sedona. <laughs> but, you know, I don't get to choose the color names. But I do, well, I Tuscan like the, terracotta. Tuscan terracotta. Terracotta would be a good one. I do like that one. You're, you're, okay, that's not, you They're just, dirty. but you just tore, he just cut it. It won't come off. It won't pop out. Okay. Anyway, we are gonna get dinner. Oh, Kaylee and Jacob, are you gonna eat or no? No, Because you don't eat my food? Oh, yeah, I could have taken it off. <laughs> Jacob was giving me a hard time yesterday about my Seahawks not winning, but it turns out his Vikings aren't doing so well either. <laughs> At least they have playoff chances. <laughs> Touche. Touche. But I need the Seahawks to win this week. You, like what? You, do you think they're gonna win this week? If they don't beat the 49ers, I can't go back to church because <laughs> we have friends at church who will never let us live that down. Uh, that's all I can say. I hope that they win. So I had a cute little plate all with my broccoli and my pasta and I was gonna put some salad on it. And I went to scoop off some of the mushrooms because I don't like mushrooms and the plate turned upside down. <laughs> lost everything luckily we still have a lot more so I get to start over except now I don't get very many pieces of broccoli because they're all right there and I haven't cleaned the sink like all day so there's no way I'm eating that but I do have some cucumbers instead okay I actually got that to work now I have a salad I'm just gonna eat the rest of this one probably not gonna finish all the pasta but we'll see friends it is the next morning have you ever wondered what my hair looks like the next day after doing my little twisties <laughs> I don't ever like style it like this but I wanted to give you an update on how I felt throughout the night 
after getting my booster, I totally brought my camera up to bed thinking I would pull it out in the middle of the night showing you that I had a fever or achies or whatnot, and I didn't, nothing. I slept all night long. My arm <laughs> is sore. It's stiff trying to hold this camera up, but that's it. That's my only reaction, and it gave Jason some extra hope that he won't get sick, and so he's gonna try and get his booster tonight or tomorrow night. He literally can't take time off work. We only have one employee, and we can't leave him alone to work the store, and so he literally can't take a day off. And they don't do the vaccines on Sundays when he has Monday off, when the store is closed. And so he's like, okay, if you didn't have any reaction to it, then I trust it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So I'm, anyway, I'm already working at it again. Today I have a list of about five adults and four kids so far that are gonna get their shots and I'm just waiting to see if we have doses today and tomorrow. So just wanted to kind of fill you in on my reaction to the booster. I have other friends who have had mild achy and tiredness at the end of the day after they got theirs, but I didn't have any reaction, so I just wanted to let you guys know. I hope you guys are able to get your boosters. Um, if you haven't gotten your vaccine at all and you're still watching me, <laughs> I am very vocal about this. It is important and it is especially important right now because the new variant is pretty dangerous and pretty contagious. It's spreading a lot easier. So this booster is very important to get and our kids are now vaccinated and I'm very happy. So take care and I hope you guys are doing good at the start of this holiday season. Sorry, my retainer is still in, <laughs> so I have a lisp. Anyway, take care you guys and we will see you guys next time.